Etiopianga Mia Cruda Sort Hello and welcome to LIS Learn Italian Songs Learn Italian with Songs Io sono Pietro and today we are going to sing and translate together a famous opera aria Lascia Chio Pianga Today's tune is a very moving opera aria with lyrics in Italian but which was not composed by an Italian. In fact, this melody was written by the uber-famous German and British naturalized composer Georg Friedrich Händel. The words were written by Italian poet and librettista Giacomo Rossi and this aria is taken from the opera Rinaldo first aired in London at the Queen's Theatre in 1711. The opera for a change has a very complicated plot involving the crusade, medieval kings, knights, maidens, sorcerers, magic and wizardry, disguises, and a lot of medieval romance. I will leave a couple of links to the summary of the plot in the description below, but we do need some basic information for a bit of context. What we need to know is that this aria is sung by Almirena, a medieval damsel who is kept prisoner in the castle of the evil sorcerer and queen of Damascus, Armida. Almirena is quite understandably sad, for one thing because she's imprisoned, but also because she is far from her beloved Rinaldo, the hero of this story. Now, this aria always conveys a kind of deep sadness. So, since there is enough sadness in other songs of my channel, I decided to give it a happy twist. But don't worry, the lyrics will be exactly those of the original tune. In actuality, there are two different versions of the lyrics of this aria, and that's because this melody was recycled from a previous opera. But in this video we will stick to the most famous version, which is the version that you might have heard if you have seen the movie about the famous 18th century opera singer Farinelli. But without further ado, let's get on to the translation, which will be very short. You will see that this song has very few words, but just bear with me till the end of the translation because this is 18th century Italian, so some words and phrases that you find in this song will not have the same meaning that they have in modern Italian. And on to our translation. You will see the translation on this side of the screen and some important words or phrases highlighted in the lower portion of the video. Let's start with the first line, which is also the title of this aria, and it's Lascia Chio Pianga. Now, this can be considered standard Italian. Uh, Lascia Chio Pianga literally means let me cry. Now, Lascia means let. Chio is the union of the words che, c, h, e, and io. Now, in order to save one syllable and to let the word fit into the melody, che and io have been joined together. The word che has lost its final vowel, so chio is now a one syllable phrase, which means that I. So, let that I, let me, pianga is cry. And this is the modo congiuntivo, subjunctive. Second line, mia cruda sorte. Now, this in standard Italian would mean my raw fate. Cruda means raw, like an uncooked food. But in this case, it means my cruel fate, my sad fate. Sorte is fate. Third line, e che sospiri, and that I sigh. So this connects to the first line, lascia che io pianga, let me cry, and let me also sospiri, sigh. And let me sigh, following line, la libertà, the freedom. So let me cry my cruel fate, and let me sigh for, sigh in the longing, or thinking about my lost libertà, freedom. 
And then the second part goes like this. Il duolo in franga. Duolo, it's a bit of an outdated word, and it means the pain. In modern Italian, we would say il dolore, which is the pain, either physical pain or emotional pain. So, il dolore in franga. In franga is once again conjuntivo, subjunctive, and it means to break. We say infrangere when a piece of glass shatters. In fact, that kind of glass which you cannot break is called infrangibile, so unshatterable. Il duolo in franga means may the sorrow, my sorrow, break what? Queste ritorte. Queste is these. Ritorte is another word that we would not use in standard Italian, or not as a noun at least. We would use this word as an adjective. The adjective ritorto in modern Italian is used rarely, but it means either crooked or twisted or bent out of shape. And in this case, in this song, it means the handcuffs. So, not your standard police officer handcuffs that you see in modern movies. Uh, these are sort of old times handcuffs. Usually they were made of rope, maybe with some wooden elements, but they were used to tighten the wrists or even ankles of a prisoner. Just to recap, may my sorrow break these handcuffs. Dei miei martiri sol per pietà. The handcuffs of my day, miei, martiri. And you can hear the word martyr in this word. Martirio, in this case, means my suffering. So literally, de miei martiri means of my martyrdoms. It figuratively means of my suffering or of my sorrows. At the plural. And notice that de with apostrophe, de apostrophe, is a short form for dei miei martiri. Now, in this case, they could have left dei, the entire word, miei martiri, but it sounds more poetic and more 18th century like if they use the de apostrophe version of the word. Sol per pietà, sol could be used in modern standard Italian only in a poetic context. Uh, it is short for solo or solamente, which is an adverb, and it means just or only. In this case, sol per pietà is just out of, just for pity. So this whole second verse means may my sorrow break my handcuffs or the handcuffs of my martyrdoms just out of pity. So just to sum up the whole song, which is something that we can do since it's so short and repetitive, is let me weep, let me cry my cruel fate, and let me sigh for my freedom or for my liberty, libertà, liberty. Second verse, may sorrow or may my sorrow shatter, break these handcuffs, these chains of my sorrows, martyrdoms, or of my torments, just out of pity. And this ends the song. And on to our slow funk version of this song, in which I will be joined by my dear, dear friend Giulio on keyboards. Enjoy it! <laughs>
cruda sorte e che sospiri la libertà sono di giù If you like this video as usual give it a thumbs up pollice su mi piace subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and if you're feeling particularly generous you can buy me an espresso and coffee and let me take a moment to thank from the bottom of my heart all of the people who have supported me on coffee so far and so i thank you all for your likes and just for watching these videos which is a privilege for me and i thank even more all the supporters who went the extra mile and offered me an espresso coffee grazie grazie mille and until next time arrivederci